Most people think melatonin is just a sleep supplement. But what if I told you sleep is only 5% of what melatonin actually does? Here's the mind blower. 95% of your melatonin isn't made in your brain at all. It's made inside your cells, right in the mitochondria, the same engines that drive your oral tissue, your gut lining, your brain, your heart, your energy. And when that system is working right, it's the most powerful detox and repair mechanism your body has. Hey, I'm Dr. Chris, the detox dentist, and I help people rebuild their health from the cellular level out starting in the mouth. And today we're diving into something that changes how we understand light, mitochondria, and longevity. Melatonin's secret job as your body's master antioxidant. So here's a quick refresher. Your body converts tryptophan, to serotonin, to melatonin, once it gets dark. If your natural bedtime is 10 p.m., which is kind of normal, melatonin starts to rise around 8 p.m. But open your phone, tablet, or watch TV, and that blue light shuts melatonin down instantly. That's why artificial light wrecks your sleep and your nighttime detox cycle. Because melatonin isn't just a sleep signal, it's your body's call to clean house. Only 5% of melatonin comes from the pineal gland. The rest, 95%, is produced inside your mitochondria in nearly every cell of your body. When those mitochondria make energy, ATP, they also create a small amount of free radicals, molecules that can damage DNA and tissue if left unchecked. Normally, melatonin neutralizes them on the spot. It's like having an antioxidant firefighter living inside each cell, preventing inflammation before it even starts. Now here's the fascinating part. Sunlight, especially the near-infrared spectrum, tells your mitochondria to make melatonin right where it's needed. This has nothing to do with your brain's melatonin at night. This is a daytime melatonin built inside your cells acting as your body's internal sunscreen and detox shield. Near-infrared light penetrates skin, muscles, even bones over an inch deep, charging the mitochondria in your brain, heart, gums, and every organ. That morning or late afternoon warmth you feel on your skin, that's near-infrared light helping your cells generate antioxidants. The problem? We've replaced sunlight with screens and natural foods with ultra-processed ones. We live underneath blue LEDs, eat seed oils, and refined carbs that flood our mitochondria with free radicals and almost never get the near-infrared light that makes melatonin. And the result is tired cells, sluggish metabolism, brain fog, oral inflammation, and premature aging. None of those things are good and we've all experienced them. When mitochondria get damaged, they switch from using oxygen to a primitive fermentation process to survive. It's energy inefficient, demands more glucose, and triggers blood vessel growth and abnormal tissue expansion. The exact same pattern seen in cancer metabolism. Researchers like Thomas Seafried called this the metabolic origin of cancer. And one of the best defenses against that shift, healthy melatonin producing mitochondria. Now, two core habits repair this system. Number one, super simple, dim the lights at night. Cut blue light two hours before bed, use candles, red bulbs, or firelight. This lets your brain release pineal melatonin to restore and repair. Quick side note on that, fluoride damages the pineal gland, which of course then damages your melatonin production. Kind of all part of the system to make you sick. Number two is to get sunlight during the day. Morning and late afternoon, lights are loaded with near-infrared wavelengths that tell your cells to make mitochondrial melatonin your built-in antioxidant shield. And remember, no pills can replicate that. You can't supplement your way into cellular melatonin. It must be made by light. Now here are three very interesting facts about near-infrared light. Number one, green nature reflects natural infrared light. Trees, grass, and plants bounce near-infrared light back at you, literally charging your cells while you walk in the park. Number two, NIR, near-infrared light, penetrates your body deeply. It travels through clothing, skin, even your skull, to reach your brain tissue, which is why you can feel calm and clear in the sun. Number three is firelight, which produces NIR as well. The red-orange glow from a campfire, fireplaces, or candles, they sit in the same spectrum. That's exactly why sitting by a fire feels grounding, peaceful, and helps you sleep. You're literally bathing your mitochondria in light 
therapy. So living here in Montana, for instance, walking in the forest is called forest therapy for the reasons we just mentioned. So melatonin isn't just your sleep hormone. It's your body's light activated antioxidant network. Darkness at night signals restoration, healing. Sunlight by the day powers protection. Together, they form your 24-hour detox rhythm, a rhythm your teeth, gums, brain, and every organ depends on. It's very simple. Step outside, watch the sunrise, kill the blue light before bed. And remember, your best antioxidant doesn't come in a capsule. It comes from light itself. If this opened your eyes to how light and melatonin protect your cells, hit the like button and subscribe. I want to share more information on how to unlimit your health so you can focus on living rather than staying alive.